ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to Wash Ho Nevada with me, Siwa Iso. The end of the last video, we had just done a canola harvest over on the field over yonder. We also set up some pig coops, um, pig pen, uh, not pig pen, sheep, uh, chicken pens over on the animal area. We got we sold off the other um, animal pens, the, the sheep, the cows, the pigs, the horses. I put in four chicken pens and then made sure that all those chickens had food. Uh, we started the process using the animal pen extension mod to upgrade um, the animal pen so they're self irrigated. We've paid to have the guy come and plumb them in and provide water to them so I haven't got to feed water to the chickens they're going to be taken care of. Um, they should be taken care of, they're going to have their water provided. They've got some wheat and barley and stuff provided to them which is going to be okay some of them use a little bit more than others apparently like say look the black chickens use more consume more food than the brown ones and the white ones consume even less again this is the realistic numbers mod in action obviously the white chickens are young chickens the brown chickens are sort of middle of the road chickens your black chickens are your, your real mature chickens, your, your, your main egg layers. Whereas obviously, these are going to be your, your, your they're going to lay eggs and reproduce quite quickly. The white chickens are probably just going to reproduce. They're probably not actually going to give me many eggs. But what I can do is when these white chickens reproduce a lot, we can replace, sell them off and replace them with the same number of brown chickens and then get eggs and then obviously over a period of time we sell the brown chickens off replace them with black chickens and we're a hunky dory of course we also after a period of time have to sell off black chickens to simulate you know them dying and then we have to replace them with the white chickens the new young chickens and so the circle goes on but anyway that was the last sort of episode so we've got the chicken pen set up there's a big area of land obviously here that I said I was going to look at maybe stripping the trees from and then putting it in a field that I can use for producing wheat, barley to feed and provide for the chickens. But as you may have noticed when we first logged into the video, there has been a change on the farm. The red barn, the decorative barn object, I sold that off because it it serves no purpose it has no function it has no benefit doesn't do anything it's a waste of space in its place i've placed one of the tried and tested fuel diesel fuel production systems that can basically produce diesel and pig food two items that a we can sell and hopefully make money out of also i must admit this this sign the diesel fuel production sign is the one i made for the mod because obviously the the original mod by farmer Shuby is in german so the signs are all in german so unfortunately the sign isn't up as up to date as the mod is because you can now also put sunflower in this building so you can put canola and sunflower in there and you will get diesel and pig food out over here i've also got a silage production building so i can put chaff and grass in there along with hay and straw and a few other bits and basically, over time, we'll get silage out. Because silage is a pretty pretty good thing as well. Because obviously on the map, Alien Jim has been kind enough to give us the biogas plant. So silage can be sold there, which would produce, obviously, money for me. And also digestate. The digestate, as we already know from Mercury Farms and from the Don Diego multiplayer server that I'm running right now can come to the fertilizer production building can go in here and be turned into solid fertilizer which again i believe is something we could then not only use ourselves and save a bit of money buying but we may actually be able to sell it somewhere on the map i think there's usually some place on alien jim's maps where you can sell um fertilizer like uh, solid fertilizer i may have to have a hunt round for it but I will find it. So, what are we doing today? Right, this is the crucial bit. As you can see, we've got quite a bit of leased equipment over here from the old uh, green company. 
Um, you will notice, though, that the stayer has gone, as has my little um, tippy truck. The reason being, I have sold it off. Oh, yes, it's been sold. And in its place, if we have a quick trip over to the, uh, the, the, the store, which is down here, I've got a whole new load of leased equipment ready to really, really fill in the gaps on the farm. So, we've got mowers. We've got some mowing units. Unfortunately, these are, these are the only thing that I can't have in green and yellow. This is the only bit of red within my, um, my equipment now. Um, because, unfortunately, there is no colour options on these mowers. I could have gone with the... I could have actually bought some John Deere mowers in the store. Because I've got a mod pack that does do some John Deere versions. However, I've gone for the um, the modded version of the Novacat X8, which has the um, the windrow function built into it. This is on the mod hub, so basically it's exactly the same as the previous, as the the in-game standard Giants mowers, except they've got this little um, little switch on them, which allows you to basically windrow so basically i can mow grass i can bail it with my john deere baler i could wrap it into silage bales using the john deere john deere wrapper i've then got a john deere stacker to collect the bales um and transport them wherever we need them so again take them to the bga take them to the um the animal dealership place down here the livestock market or the um, loose straw barn area I think um, we've got a tanker so we can obviously transport liquids again the LSM universal tank pack but obviously I've ordered it in John Deere green and yellow to keep it in keeping with all the vehicles I have got a lovely John Deere 6430 premium tractor equipped with front loader forks and pallet forks and on the back we have our John Deere tippy trailer this replaces the stayer and the previous one I then have a John Deere 6M with fertilizer spray sprayer on the back the mega 4000 ready for doing liquid fertilizing and um, weed killing I then have a um, can't see the numbers on this one um, this is another another John Deere. I'm gonna have to get in it, I'm afraid. The 6920, the 6920S model, and on this I have a bucket. So again, this type of thing is going to be useful for cleaning up after the chickens if the chickens make a mess. It's also going to enable me to uh, loose scoop stuff and tip stuff if I need to. Um, we've then got a John Deere 7810 over here, which. Um, it's going to be pretty useful for doing a few jobs around the, the farm and that. Again, it's going to be knowing what um, horsepower. So the 7810 is 175 horsepower. So again, it's going to be a good carter, trailer, workhorse. We've got a couple of little ones for doing some of the little jobs around the farm, like I say. Loading pallets, cleaning up after animals, um, spraying. <laughs> And then obviously we've got, like I say, the 7810, which is kind of a middle of the road. That might do the mowing and stuff for me, possibly. And pull the baler, I think, is the plan with that one. Um, I've then leased another 7R. This one's going to have the Brooks Big Daddy on the front. And <laughs> this lovely org wagon on the back. This is going to uh, be removing our um, trees and stuff when we start making our field. So we are going to get field 10 mode. Um, and then looking at it, um, it needs lime spreading, which is a bit weird for grass field. So what I may do, I may plow field 10, lime, I might, uh, lime spread it, cultivate, uh, fertilize it, cultivate it and then reseed it field 16 i'll probably plow sub 
um, or should I say subsoil cultivate I'm going to get the lime spread on that too but obviously I need to start getting some of this equipment moved <laughs> so first thing first the John Deere 6430 chipped that can run back to the farm as that is going to be our tippy truck no beacons on this for some reason don't know if that's a real life thing or not but on this particular John Deere tractor there's no beacons so no way of alerting people that were on the move I could put the hazard lights on I suppose it's got hazards but you're not going to really see them on the back of the oh you are going to see them on the back of the trailer obviously turn the GPS off don't need that that's unfortunately just one of them things I have to remember to keep turning off if I'm not actually doing field work because unfortunately every time you save and exit the game it then um, resets GPS so the next time I log in and load up the save all the vehicles will have the white lines turned back on can't do anything about that sadly it's how the mod is currently coded and programmed to work this can park in here that, that jackknife very quickly there that got quite responsive <laughs> a lot more responsive than I thought it was going to get and that can park in there turn the beacons off now alright all right. let me lose the trailer please rather than forks Good thing about this is it's quite a bit smaller than the stand, which means I can actually park it right in here next to the trailer, which means I get to uh, retain a bit of a space over here. Right, next vehicle. If I can remember which one I want, I want the I want this one because I want to pick up um, the mowers, and I do believe now can this run the baler? I need to check that. <laughs> 160 horsepower, 70 horsepower can run those. The baler is 140, so it can, it can. It can run balers, it can run mowers. Right, good. So basically, we can mow and bale in one, 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 one stage. I'm going to need something on the back of this fairly quickly because that is uh, not making it life very difficult for me to that's got no rear wheels in contact with the ground okay that may not work I may have to get some wheel weights on this tractor at least this one has beacons though but yeah I may need to employ some um, wheel weights um, because um, there's not a lot of uh, rear traction there all the weights on the front end that's having a bit of di that tractor's having a bit of difficulty putting its um, power into actual forward motion the wheels are spinning a bit because they're kind of floating so yeah may need to put wheel weights on this uh, that is something I can do we've got the, um, the tractor we've got the uh, mobile workshop I can customize this and fit them the weights at the farm here I don't have to take it back to the store Actually, what I think I'll do, I'll just temporarily disconnect those, and I'll then just temporarily disconnect that. I'll position this next to the, my tractor, my my truck, should I say, and see if I can't get the um, workshop con mobile workshop to, because that's not going to work. If I can't if I can't put the, the wheels down. Oh, 
course. Sorry, no, my bad. My bad. I forgot. Um, if you lease a tractor in this game, if you lease equipment, um, oh, okay. I have to think about this. Might have to do some rejiggering with my equipment. The Brooks. <sighs> it's 250 horsepower. <sighs> I can't fit wheel weights. It doesn't have the option. It doesn't have the option. It doesn't sadly have the option to put wheel weights on that tractor. The 7R I definitely need for the power to power to pull the, to operate the Brooks and obviously haul this big org wagon when it's going to be full of wood chips to the farm. Again, I'll be out your way in a minute, Carl. I need to just barrel in for me. So obviously I'm going to take this up and park near the animal dealership because that's where we're going to be working with this first when we get round to it. Oh God, that, was a bit, that was a bit laggy, wasn't it? Switching to in cab. That was a bit of a, a bit of a need to have a think about that moment for the game. It is quite warm here today in the UK, so my PC is probably suffering with the heat. I have got a mobile air conditioning unit now though to call the room however I can't use it whilst I'm recording because it makes too much noise it's 65 decibels in volume so it's a bit on the loud side <laughs> but yeah there's going to be some tree removal going on up here and like I say then we're going to get the, the plough out and get everything ploughed get a feel put in all these lovely trees are going to go. Nice big field can go in its spot. Um, Alright, you are going to help me now take the... Uh, pick up the tanker. Right. So, so the fuel station is there for buying fuel where can we sell it area 51 diesel which is right up the top of the map right what I'm going to do I'm going to do a quick test just to make sure this is all working because I've not done this yet and obviously again people quick to point out oh you really need to you really need to sell, sell diesel Diesel, diesel's the profit maker on this map. It's, you know, I'm just doing diesel runs and it's making me millions. Okie dokie. Let's see if you're right, people. Again, one person's game, one person's mod list can greatly change and cause differences. Can I not buy? Can I not fill this? Fuel buy point. Um, that suggests to me that that's where you go to, f you buy your diesel. A buy point is where you buy it. A sell point is where you would sell it. Is that not the case here? I cannot fill that. Oh, 
Oh, okay. What's going on? Why can't I buy fuel? Why can't I buy diesel? That's what this is for, is it not? Is it only a specific tanker? That would seem to me to be a very stupid decision. No, I can't fill that. Just double check. Where's the tanker? I own the tanker, so it'll take it's it takes herbicide. Liquid fertilizer, water. Oh wait, have I messed up? <laughs> right. Back to the back to the shop. Back to the shop. This is me. This is me buying. I believe a uh, slurry tanker, not a uh, liquid tanker. Although that should, I'm pretty sure I, I, I set that up to be a water tanker. I'll quickly go back to the store and find out though. <laughs> it's like I say, you should be able to buy your fuel there. But it doesn't look like it has the slurry thing on the back to me. Now, uh, why is that not? Surely, if there's a slurry spreader, it would have the spreader thing on the back. Something gone wrong with that, I think. Because that's supposed to be a universal t trailer. And that is not showing as being a universal trailer to me. Not got the right symbols on it. What's going on here? Why is that pack not registering correctly? See, it should have all them symbols on it, shouldn't it? That's the first time I've ever known the LFS LFSM tank pack thing to not have the right fill types on any of these vehicles. So that's for a truck. That is, and that is far too flipping big. But again, I don't see why I'm not seeing the correct liquids on here. Unless Jim's done something really weird and he's forcing players to use his tankers. Um, which could be a possibility. Be very naughty of him if he has done it that way. I'm not going to lie to you. Because that's going to want that's going to want a truck under it too. I don't want to buy a truck for transporting liquids really. Um
I bet this won't fill up either. Let's just grab a truck then. For truck, for argument's sake, let's go grab ourselves a truck. Um, we'll lease one of these quick. Which people who watch and follow Welker Farms will probably recognise as being their international. The one that they restored. Right, drive this over. If this doesn't work at the fuel station, then I'm gonna have to have a look and see what Jim's mucking around at. Why he makes why the uh universal tank pack can't register and detect the um the fill types that are on this map. That one does. Okay, so yeah, that one fills up, even though doesn't show it as it's showing the um when it's in the silo skipper mode. When it when that truck is configured in silo skipper, you can transport lime, fertilizer, seed, and pig food in it in the tanker. This is in liquid mode. I don't know why I, I don't know why I can't fill up the little trailer then with it um that does have me slightly confused and baffled i'm not gonna lie which means this little tractor wherever he is this one um is not required now then for doing trailer um trailer runs tippy tractor runs May run as a bale stacker, then. Trying to sort out issues with all the equipment in this game. Compatibilities with stuff. Oh, this is taking forever to fill up. Because it's a 100,000 litre trailer. Yes, I know. <laughs> it's going to take a while. Buy points on that. Refill points on maps generally have very, very poor fill rates. They're very slow at filling something. Again, it's the sort of thing I would normally go in and change within the maps XML files before I actually loaded up and started a save. <laughs> you know, things like diesel tanks, water tanks, stuff like that. And it water, I generally crank up to be like, you know. 5,000 litres fill point, you know, fill rate, 5,000 litres per second or something. So you can get your stuff filled and get gone. Don't think we've even got beacons on this, look. So we're hauling fuel. And then we'll have to go and look and see where we get water from, because we can deliver water to a few places, can't we? on this map uh, dairy factory livestock market will take it so we need to find a water source somewhere plus we might need some back at the the farm itself for power, obviously powering the irrigation system and making sure that's working Where are we going? We're going up there at some point. So I probably do not take this path here. Oh, I've got to take. I've got. It's got to be the next one. The next left here. Next left here. And past here. Which is whatever it is. Is this 
This truck hasn't really been built for um, Alright, how do I get in? Tell you what, this might prove um, quite the challenge. Because this cell point doesn't look like it's easy to get in and out of if you're a uh, if you're a truck. Alright, we'll start overloading some diesel then. I, I can't remember how much that actually cost us to buy. Um, thing is, on the finance screen, it's probably not going to tell me, is it? Fuel costs. No, I spent 90000 on fuel. Let's see how much it makes. As a harvest income. Hundred and one. I made ten grand. <laughs> yeah, some on a vanilla, just a pure vanilla wash home Nevada map playthrough. It probably makes you money. With this being hard difficulty and realistic numbers, it doesn't. <laughs> Fuel, unless you're producing it to sell. Um, it's going to cost you a lot of lot of money. Uh, where's the water then on this map? By the way, if I want to refill my water, where do I go? <laughs> I've got a f probably about where we spawned actually. Next to that little cave is probably the only place you can buy water on this map. Well, we'll have a drive down there then, and we'll have a look. try and find somewhere where I can get water I'll tell you what I may do in this series I may turn the traffic off uh, I know that's not very realistic and some people will, will dislike the videos for that reason but I'm, I'm fed up we're trying to drive around on little single track lane roads like this when there's little cars driving along at 20 miles an hour. That's not realistic. You know, cars would be flipping... Look, speed limit, 50. Well, I'm out, that car is not doing 50 miles an hour. It's barely doing 18. You know? You need to step up the speed of the traffic. Thin the numbers down a bit. And like I say, raise the speed. Have them zip back, zip along the map. Um, remember where it was, where we spawn in. Where there's that little pool of water. I'm sure it, it was down here near these cabins somewhere. Whey! Oh, 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 God, 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 God. Well, that's... um. That's kind of messed everything up a bit. Hmm. How am I going to get that out of there?
which tractor's got the more grunt to it? 139. Hundred and thirty nine hundred and sixty five. It's probably this one. Right. We've got a bucket. We'll see if this push we can kind of drag the truck off that slope with this terrible terrible driving by me but you know again nice map but it would be nice to see an area on it painted blue to signify where the water is <laughs> here be water you know here be a lake that you can refill your uh, tankers from This isn't ham pulling up these hills very quick. As much as I like these little tractors, and it does give you the option to have a few different models of um, tractor in the game. And they probably, I would say, I'm no tractor expert. This is probably, you know, this particular model, the 6290, this is probably the horsepower on the 6290 tractor. This is probably its, it's cap maximum capability. The person who's done it has probably done it very well. You know, researched this stuff, made the mod brilliant. However, I'm thinking I'm probably better off just buying half a dozen 6Rs, 7Rs and 8Rs. Because they've got massive, massive performance differences. I bet I can't jack this truck up with this. What about if I push the trailer? Can I get under the trailer? And jack it up with the bucket. Look at all these people walking around. Look. Come to have a laugh at the farmer who's drove his truck off a cliff. Yeah. And you're really helping them out, aren't you, Mr. Flipping Flannel? Flannel and jeans. Mrs. Skirt there, look. Mrs. Ponytail. You, you be careful not to break your high heels, love, walking up here to laugh at my truck. Absolute disaster. Of course. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to get a picture of this for prosperity. Watch the guy who's beached his tractor. Oh, careful. Right, I kind of move that a bit. I d of course, I, I, you know, people will be saying, well, you've still got the lift heavy things mod installed. Why not just use that to pick the truck up? That would be kind of cheating. Right. We've got to that point. <laughs> ah. We kind of need to jack the truck up a little bit on that side where the tanker connects to the truck. And um, just shift it over a bit so all its wheels. I've got four wheel drive on and I've got the diffs locked maybe it would benefit from unlocking the diffs then the wheels that are in the air can spin quite freely and the wheels on the, the ground can spin at whatever speed they need to spin at and i'm gonna have to turn around which isn't going to be ideal in this little canyon to have a run at that truck it's never easy is it I need to get that mod. I need to get that mod where you've got winches. 
you can fit that allows you to fit a winch to trailers and vehicles so you can pull and tow vi other vehicles and equipment that would be very useful I, if i had the winch i could winch that truck and trailer that tanker off of that hill all i can say is i'm relieved that that tanker is currently empty because if it had a hundred thousand liters of water or fuel in it i would not be picking it up hold on I want to push this. Now we've got truck wheels on the ground. That may possibly help the situation. Just leave that. Just leave the tr tractor there for a second. Let's let's, let's do this. Right. Let's unlock the diffs. See now I've got no rear wheels at all. Got, I've got no drive wheels in contact with the ground. So, oh yeah, that's. Right, see what this mod has done? He's got no collision on that, um. No collision on the truck. Right, is that gonna? That's got. Uh, it's got some wheels on the ground. Not many. Now, um, I need to. Oh. Oh, relief. Leave that there for a second. That's worn me out now, doing that. Recovering that truck. Yeah, because this, 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 this thing is not going to pull. When that's got 16 bales on the back, this tractor's going to struggle. Oh, four mile an hour it got to there at its lowest. Oh look, obelisk over there, look. The alien obelisk. Now I do believe... Oh gosh. Now what? What the flipping? I'll tell you what, there's some weird crazy physics around New um, uh, Roswell. That's not Roswell, because that's New Mexico. Uh, Area 51, Nevada. You've got crazy ass physics going on. I got stuck off up a tree somehow. I'm trying to remember how to get back to my farm. I just want to get home. With this stacker. I was hoping to get the grass cut today. I'm not going to get the grass cut now this month. I'm going to have to wait till month three before we cut grass. Can I get down there? Is it going to let me? Well, if I'm sensible, drive across the slope, not straight down it. I should be able to. Uh... All this hassle just to move some equipment. <sighs> try and find some water on the map so we can keep stuff green like the grass. Right, leave that there. Find the truck now. There it is. Right. We want water from somewhere. I'm going to follow this little path down, see if I can find it. I think it's 
It must be here, I think. Is it? Just behind these little trees, in this behind this little copse of trees. Looks like it. However, is that, it? is that really the only place on this map where we can get water from? So remember that, kids, in future. The water point is directly below the sawmill icon. It's not over here. <laughs> and we're going to take the water to the livestock market once we're full. I'll then come back and get a tanker load to take back to the farm for our own use. Again, providing I don't crash along the way and drive off a cliff. Brakes on this Kenworth aren't very good. Sorry, Nick, and, and leg arms, but you kind of need to uh, sort out the brakes on this thing. It's a bit iffy. <laughs> right, so I've got to get in there somehow. I'm guessing there's a road in. There is. We'll drive through here. We'll fill this up. We'll sell 100,000 litres to the animals. Dealer King. I'll keep us running for a bit. Did that make us a lot of money? I, f I, d I forgot. I was looking at my phone then. I forgot to see what we made for that water delivery. I'll have to watch it back on the video in editing later. <laughs> oh. I'm not a big fan of this. I'm sorry. Sorry, Welkers. But I'm not a big fan of your international truck. It turns like a brick. Might be tempted to get one of my tried and tested man trucks or um Man trucks or what's the other one? Uh the the Max. The Max X might be what I want. Seriously, where's the trigger point, Jim? <gasps> oh, God. Jim. That's the one thing I will maybe say in a slight bit of criticism of, of Jim's maps. Sometimes the actual triggers are positioned that flipping low down on the ground that they don't activate properly with some of the bigger, taller vehicles. Mercury Falls was a prime example of that. When you went to the animal dealership and tried to buy manure or slurry, you couldn't fill 99% of the trailers in the game because they were too tall. I had to go in the map and physically move that trigger up so I could fill every single trailer in the game plus all the modded ones. And it looks like this water trigger, a bit like the water on Mercury Farms, is incredibly low. Anybody who's watched the Mercury Farm series will know when I'm using the hooklift truck and tanker, I have to keep taking the tanker off the back of the truck to get it to fill up. 
because sitting on top of the truck, it's too high to activate the trigger. Right, so field 16 is the one I harvested the canola on. We know that. Right. Water storage goes in... I think it's this tank over here, I do believe. I'll put that into storage. I'll probably actually return these two items. I will have a bit of a look and see with the uh, LSFM tank pack why it's not quite coming up and showing the uh, the fill type, correct fill types or why it doesn't appear to be wanting to fill the correct fill types. Um, before I forget, they are leased, are they? Uh, it says owned. I'm going to return that then. Uh, no, that says leased. These are all leased. And I'm going to return that. We'll probably revisit that sometime in the not too distant future. But for now, I'm going to have enough water. 100,000 litres of water should last me for quite a while. Um, like I say, I do need to just... One more truck down here. And of course the bale wrapper. I have to come back and pick up the bale wrapper. But it's getting dark. Night is falling. On the second month here on Washo Nevada. Two months in. Tomorrow. Or yeah, tomorrow will be uh, month three. We'll be a quarter of the way through our first year. I wonder if we'll have anything to harvest. We've got a couple, of, like I say, we had got a couple of other fields, haven't we? Prepped and stuff, so we'll have to wait and see how that goes. Um, but yeah, be interesting. Very interesting to see how everything is on that front. So anyway, I've been C1E, so thank you for watching this episode of Washo Nevada. If you could leave your comments, questions, suggestions and feedback in the comment section down below, that would be greatly appreciated. If you're also going to consider clicking that like button, please do so. Um, and of course, if you're not already doing so, please feel free to uh, leave a subscribe. So on, you stay up to date and notified whenever I post new content on the channel. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye for now.